Hello and thank you for stopping by my Carolina homestead. My name is Michelle and today I'm going to be doing a crochet tutorial with the peacock stitch. If you like videos like this, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click that notification bell for more videos coming up soon. So I've made several of these adorable placemats for the dinette in the kitchen and um, I have made three and I have one more left to make so I'm going to show you how I do that today. Um, as I said again this is the peacock stitch. It's also sometimes called the peacock fan stitch. Um, it's very easy to do if you know how to make a chain, a foundation chain, if you know how to single crochet and do a treble crochet then uh, this will definitely be an easy pattern for you. So of course you can make yours however you want. Um, I decided to add a little ribbon in the center with a color change. Um, I will show you how to do that later. So I'll have two light gray and two dark gray just to add a little interest to the table. For this project I'm going to be using I Love This Cotton from Hobby Lobby. Um, this lighter gray is called Dove and the darker gray is called Pewter. They are both 180 yards, and I probably used maybe one and a half of each of these for all four placemats. I'm going to use a 5.5 size crochet hook. This is a Tulip brand. It's my absolute favorite. I found these at a really great price um, at Joann's, so I had to get them. Next, you'll need a small pair of scissors and your darning needles to sew in your ends. That's all the supplies that you'll need to do this project, so now it's time to get started. I'm going to start off this project by making a slip knot. This yarn is a size 4, so um, it's a worsted weight average size yarn. So I'm going to start off by creating a foundation chain of 60 plus 2. Um, that's going to give me the width that I want for my placemats. It's important to start your foundation chain loosely so that the bottom edge of your project doesn't start to curve. So you can see how much space is in between the stitches there. That is a very loose foundation chain. And that's exactly what you want so your placemats will lay flat on your table. So I'm going to continue on until I get 60 plus 2. And what that means is this pattern works with multiples of 10 stitches plus one and then you'll have another stitch for your turning chain. That's where I get the plus two at the end of my 60. So if you're not really familiar with crochet that may sound a little foreign to you. But the more you practice with crochet the more you'll become familiar with these terms. So I'm just going to finish up with this foundation chain and that will be the end of row one. So now that that's finished it's nice and loose and you can see how it's just going to lay nice and flat on the table. Um, if I can get it in the shot there. There you go. Um, that's going to lay nice and flat on the table and that's what you want. Um, if it were to have any curvature to it I would definitely consider taking that out and just redoing it all together. Uh, now it's time to move on to the second row. So for row two, we're going to create some stability. Um, I'm going to insert my hook in the first stitch there, and I'm going to create a single crochet by inserting my hook yarning over, pulling through, pulling up a loop, and then I'm going to yarn over and pull through two. Now I'm going to do that through each stitch of my foundation chain. And when I finish with row two, I should have 61 single crochets. 
I'll meet you back here at the end of this row. So now row two is finished. We've completed uh, 61 single crochets. And now we have a nice, strong foundation that's got a lot of stability for us to work our peacock stitch into. So now to begin row three, basically, um, we're going to start by chaining one and turning our work. I'm going to add one single crochet stitch in the first single crochet stitch from my hook. I'm going to skip four stitches. That's one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to do nine treble or triple crochets in that fifth stitch right there. So now I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook twice. I'm going to insert into the stitch, I'm going to yarn over and pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through the last two. And that's your treble crochet. So that's the first one. This is the second one. I'm going to do this nine times in the same stitch. And that's what's going to give me that nice peacock or fan shape that we're looking for. So now I'm counting to make sure that I have nine treble crochets. I think I've got to add one more here to finish this fan. And now we're going to skip four stitches. So see where all, all those nine are in that one same stitch there. So you can see that whole, that hole there is kind of stretched. So we start counting the next stitch. That's one, one, two, three, four. And in the fifth stitch, we're going to place a single crochet to anchor that peacock stitch down. And there you have, that's your really pretty peacock fan stitch there. And it's anchored down by that single crochet. And so now we're just going to repeat this pattern. And how we're going to do that is we're going to skip four stitches. Not the one we've got our, our single crochet in. We don't count that one. One, we count the one beside it. One, two, three, four. And in that fifth stitch, we're going to do nine treble crochets. So we're going to repeat this pattern all the way till the end and you will end this row with a single crochet in the last stitch. So to finish off row three, I'm here at the end. I'm going to, I'm going to skip four stitches again. I'm keeping the same repeat and I'm going to do nine treble crochets in this last segment here. And then I'm going to skip four stitches when those are completed and I'm going to end this row by skipping four stitches and finishing with one single crochet in that last stitch. Okay, so I have those nine treble crochets done. I have five stitches left. So I'm going to skip four and finish by putting a single crochet in this last stitch. And that will complete row three. This looks so pretty already. I love that design. Um, it's just a really pretty scalloped edge. For my project, I wanted to end up with six of these peacock fans um, to make the width of the placemat that I'm creating. You can adjust this 
to whatever width or length you choose. Just remember this pattern works with multiples of 10 stitches plus one and then you add an additional one for your foundation chain. So now we're going to get ready for the next row. Remember we finished with that single crochet in the last stitch so now we're going to chain four. And then we'll turn our work. Okay, now after you've chained four and turned your work, you're going to do a treble crochet in that first single crochet stitch. So right there, I'm going to add one treble crochet into that first single crochet stitch. And that's going to start the next layer of our project and I call this the lacy layer. So we have two treble crochets on the end and that, that chain four counted as one treble crochet. And then we added another one into that first single crochet there. So now we are going to chain three Now we're going to skip four. One, two, three, four, and in the fifth stitch, we're going to add a single crochet and anchor that lacy layer down. Now I'm going to chain three again and skip four stitches. And we're going to add two treble crochets in this single crochet right there. So two treble crochets are going to go in the same stitch. And now you can see the open lacy layer that we're creating for row four. It's very pretty. So we're chaining three, putting in that single crochet, chaining three more, and then adding two treble crochets into the same stitch. You will continue this repeat until you get to the end. And I'll meet you back at the end to show you how to finish row four off. So now we're finishing up row four and I'm going to show you how we're going to continue on with this repeat. So I have my two treble crochets here in this same stitch and I'm going to continue on to the end just to show you how I finish this off. So we're going to continue with the same pattern using the same repeat. So now I'm just going to chain three. I'm skipping four stitches and then in the fifth stitch I'm anchoring with that single crochet and I'm going to chain three more. I'm going to skip four stitches and in the very last stitch I'm going to add two treble crochets to finish this row off. And that's it. Row four is complete. So now to finish row four, I'm going to chain one and turn my work. And then we're going to repeat row three. So we've created our foundation chain. We've created our stability row, which is all single crochets. So that would be row one. We've done row two, which was our first layer of peacock fans. Row three was our lacy layer. And so now we're going to go with row four and it's actually going to repeat um, basically our peacock fan shape. So to start row four, 
I'm going to add a single crochet in between the two treble crochets at the beginning of this row. So there I'm adding that single crochet in between the two treble crochets. And now I'm going to skip those chain threes and I'm going to move to that single crochet anchored in that first fan and I'm going to create nine treble crochets all in that same single crochet stitch right there. So once again nine treble crochets go in the same single crochet stitch. Okay so there's your nine treble crochet stitches in that same single crochet stitch. So now I'm going to move over to the next treble crochet twins there. So I'm going to put a single crochet right in between those two and anchor this row down just like that. Um, I'm going to do a color change for that's my personal preference just so that I've got a little contrast in my design. So I'm going to do a, a color change on the fourth row of shells. Um, if that's something that you're interested in, I will show you how I do that. You do not have to do this. You can maintain um, a monochromatic you know, pattern if you choose. So now I'm going to continue with this row. Remember I did put a single crochet in between those two treble twins there. And now I'm going to add nine treble crochets into this single crochet stitch. And I will continue this repeat throughout the rest of this row and I will meet you at the end. So now I'm at the end of this row and I have a single crochet in between the two treble crochets at the end and now I'm going to finish by chaining four and turning my work. So I'm going to repeat the pattern um, by continuing to repeat row two and three until it's time for me to make the color change and I'll meet you back then. If you're not sure what I mean by row two and three, I don't count the foundation chain as a row. I did count the stability um, single crochet um, as row one and then when we started making the fans the first time I counted that as row two and then the lacy layer is row three. So I will repeat rows two and three until it's time for me to make the color change. So just to clarify that a little better. Now it's time for my fourth row of fans. And I'm getting ready for my color change here. So as you can see, I have two loops on my hook. I have started that last single crochet in between the two treble crochets. So I'm going to cut this um, first color. So now I'm getting ready to do the color change. I've finished those last two treble crochets at the end of this row and I have two loops on my hook. So now I'm going to take the new color and just kind of make sure that the ends are the same length and then I'm going to wrap the new color which is going to be the new working yarn around the tip of my crochet hook and I'm going to pull it through the two loops that are on my hook. Now I have two short ends and I have a new working yarn which is the lighter color that I'll be starting the next row with. What I did there is I separated the new working yarn from the two short strands and now I'm going to tie these two short strands together. I'm going to put two knots here. Um, this is something that I do whenever I work a color change. I'm not sure if it's something anybody else does or if it's a common thing, but it's something I do. It gives me a little more peace of mind. I'm self-taught when it comes to crochet so I feel like I'm a rebel crocheter. I kind of make up my own rules as I go along. So you feel free to do this however you choose, but I like to uh, tie my ends off when I do a color change. So now I'm ready to start with the next row. I'm going to be making the peacock fans in this lighter color. 
So I'm going to chain one and turn my work. Now I'm just going to continue that row three repeat by doing a single crochet in between those two treble crochet stitches. And then I'm going to skip those chain three and I will do nine treble crochets in that single crochet space. And I will repeat that um, until I get to the end. So you can see the contrast row number four is finished. I love the way this looks. So um, now it's time to move on to the next row. The next row is the lacy row. You could continue on with your contrast color to complete the lacy row if you choose. As you can see, the placemat's almost finished. Uh, I have to make a decision here. I have my three rows of dark on each side of the light color contrast that I have in the center. Um, you could leave the top edge scalloped like this, or you could finish it with one row of the lacy row, which is what I'm going to do because I do want these placemats to be a rectangle. Um, as you can see, I just like the detail of it um, on the edge. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add this last, last row, um, this lacy row to this placemat, and then I will be finished with my project. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this last row, and I will bring you back when I'm finished. So my placemat's finished, so I'm going to cut off the working yarn. And all I'm going to do now to secure this is I'm going to yarn over one time and pull that through. And uh, it just kind of makes a little knot there on the end. And then all I have to do now is just darn in the ends with my darning needle. This is my absolute least favorite part of any crochet project that I have. I really like the way these look together. It's just very pretty. It's a very simple stitch, but it has a lot of detail. And this is exactly what I was looking for um, to put in my kitchen at my dinette area. I know this is different content than we normally put out on this channel, but if you're interested in crocheting techniques or stitches, please let me know. And I will add more content like this to the channel. I will create a playlist for uh, crocheting. And if you're interested in beginner techniques, please let me know that as well. If you try this stitch and make these placemats, please let me know how they turned out. As always, I want to thank you for stopping by my Carolina homestead. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell for more videos coming soon. See you next time and take care.